This is the original uh, sized binder that I've received as part of the complete time manager system. Uh, it measures 21 centimeters in height and 17 centimeters in width. There is a smaller version available um, as well as a larger A5 version. It's got a practical um, button clasp at the front, uh, the time manager logo on the bottom left hand corner. On the inside front cover you've got two pockets on the side for putting in slips of paper. Uh, there's a, a business card window insert here. Then you, they've put two, uh, I think they refer to them as stamp pockets, which I think are obsolete now because certainly in the UK, uh, stamps normally, uh, you purchase stamps in booklets like this. Um, this is a first class one. I've got another one somewhere of second class stamps as well. So these stamps have already, they're already, um, you know, they're quite, they're sticky. You just peel them off and stick them on your envelope. So I think this is obsolete now, these two stamp pockets. And uh, you've got space for five business cards um, on the inside front cover. Then you have a uh, what uh, TMI referred to as a portable, I think it's, it's referred to as either a portable diary or a planning diary. It's basically a, a portable version of the time manager. You can take it out of the main time manager um, binder itself. You can fold these um, rings inside like so. And then if you're going on a meeting or you need to enter that and you don't want to carry the main uh, binder with you, you take this uh, along with you and it's used in a number of different ways. The way I use it is I have my 18-month um, calendar diary on the left-hand side. So this gives you a, a monthly view of what's happening. And you use this just to reserve slots in your diary so you know what type, what, when you're, what, what your available slots are. Uh, and then on the back you've got a notepad which has a which has perforated pages so you can tear them off quite easily and uh, slot them into your uh, binder and there's some space at the back for for business cards and then on the right hand side you've got um, a telephone directory for uh, numbers that you or emails that you send out um, from your most frequent contacts so that can be removed and kept separate and then the the actual main unit the, the main binder itself has uh, a number of sections, or before I forget, you also get um, a pen pocket uh, or a pen loop, uh, I should say, at the back as well, as, a, as well as one on the front, on the inside front cover. It comes with a, with this pencil, which I think is called a push pencil, uh, and you can ha buy replacement uh, erases uh, and refills from TMI. The actual sections of the binder, you've got um, the planning section, where you store your daily plans, your weekly plans um, in this section. Uh, so you've got your from 8 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock in the evening uh, scheduled there. You put your um, key tasks in this, in, in this section here. Your activities go underneath that and key phone calls and emails that you need to send out your list here. And then a horizontal, across the bottom in a horizontal strip you've got the nine key areas and you put an estimate of the amount of time you've spent in each of the key areas so that you get an idea of how much time you're spending uh, on each of the areas that you've listed here in the key area section. And on the top you've got uh, a, a space there to put in your elephant task, uh, which is the major activity that you're working on for that particular year. You also have uh, a sh schedule section, which is effectively a timetable. So this is uh, regular activities, recurring activities that uh, you need to uh, make a note of. Uh, there's, a, there's a weekly one, there's also a monthly one. Um, then you also have a don't forget section where you put down your one-off tasks that were completed uh, very quickly in five minutes or so. So this replaces your yellow post-it notes and things that you write down on scraps of paper. There's a, the goal section is actually quite key to the whole time manager system. This is where you write down what your key goals are. And once you've written the goal down, you colour in one eye of the Daruma doll and the goal section will you use as a decision making uh, systems to determine what activities you're going to prioritize and you're going to time, time, spend time focusing on um, then you've got uh, nine key up to nine key areas so all of your activities uh, will slot under one of these nine up to nine key areas uh, and you also have an idea section here uh, at the bottom as well and then the other sections are, these are essentially, the last three sections are, uh, are your reference or uh, information section. So you've got a, um, an area for notes, so this is essentially a notepad 
for uh, writing stuff, uh, such as you, know, you might be preparing an agenda for a meeting or uh, writing out the key points of, uh, of an email that you want to send out. So you, 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 you use that. And then you've got your, what is essentially your, look like your yellow pages, so your um, telephone directory here, and then there's a reference section uh, at the back. So those are the key areas of the uh, time manager system.